So this is very exciting. I was at an event last night. I was talking to a friend of ours about crypto, this cycle, the implications, things we will we'll probably see, what we're going to likely see with ETFs moving forward. And I just happened to check ADA price and it had exploded. All right, it was actually above 62 cents. I couldn't believe what it had done in just a very short period of time and actually outpacing what the rest of the market is doing. In fact, ADA right now is the highest mover in the top 20 over the last 24 hours. So that's very exciting. Right now we sit at about 63 cents. BTC is going through its recovery. It's at 51.6 right now. And I'd actually forgotten that Monday, tomorrow, we won't get help from institutional money. Reason why? is it's President's Day. The markets are going to be closed. Institutional money can't do any of its buying. Kind of is what it is. But if we stay on this trajectory, that won't matter. Be a perfect setup for the for the rest of the week. And a lot of that money will essentially be beating, excuse me, beating on the door to get in. All right. Probably another week of, of really high spot ETF flows. And that got me thinking about this. That brought me to this point. There is eventually going to be a point where it will all be gone. All right. I'm talking about the ADA in the market. I'm talking about the BTC in the market. There is such heavy buying happening this early in the market cycle. And typically we get to this point late market cycle where there isn't a lot of crypto to go around. All right. So when we look at what institutional money is doing, we look at what we're likely to see in terms of mass adoption. It leads me to believe that we are very, very likely going to see a major supply shock across the board when it comes to crypto by the end of this market cycle. That means that likely when we get close to the top, prices are going to be extremely volatile. There's going to be huge wicks, massive movements on just just even smaller buys. I mean, it's it's going to be wild, guys. Like I've said before, I believe this is going to be one of the most explosive market cycles we've ever seen. And this is where those price price points for ADA really that the ceiling can can move a lot higher than what we expect. Okay. And again, there's always, this is not financial advice. There's no guarantees in the market or anything like that, but just this wave of buying that happening right now is, is signifying that. And it might be too early to call, you know, we might be getting ahead of ourselves, right? We still got a long way to go before we reach the height of the market cycle. If you guys are curious, just based on what I've seen with, with the date of the having versus the peak at the high, I'm guessing sometime around October is when we should likely see the high of the markets. Okay, Again, there's no guarantees. Nobody knows what money's going to do. But we haven't seen retail FOMO in yet. There's a lot of people waiting on the sidelines. There's a lot of capital on the sidelines waiting to buy. What's going to happen when there isn't that much supply in the market to begin with, right? Prices get crazy. So that's what that's the exciting times that I'm waiting for. Right now, this is nothing, right? Ada, Ada moving to this point, you know, 63 cents. That's great. We're, we're following our five wave. Hopefully, again, we can reach this, this point up here somewhere between 85 cents to a dollar before the halving. That'd be a really good sign. But the most explosive times for ADA are going to be post-halving. This is when things are really going to get wild. And I'm excited to be on this journey with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Show your support below. Let me know your thoughts. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.